the czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov! There are not many superstars more ferocious than Ilya Dragunov. Well, that ferocity, Saxton, has led Dragunov to the NXT UK Championship. Let's see if it brings him more success tonight. Sami Zayn is here, and he is all fired up. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! There is perhaps no superstar with more heart in WWE than Sami Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, but Sammy will always get back up. The incomparable Sami Zayn, ready to give it his all once again. The ultimate measure of a man is how he stands at challenging times, and Sammy is always up for a challenge. Ilya Dragunov ready to bring his aggressive style to his opponent here tonight. Dragunov has to be one of the toughest competitors in WWE. Few can match his intense and relentless approach to competition. I don't know how he manages it, but Ilya Dragunov always seems to be on the attack, even when being attacked. Certainly a dangerous competitor for anyone who steps into the ring with him. I expect we'll see that signature style of Dragunov on full display tonight. And coming out of the other corner is Sami Zayn. You better recognize that Sami brings the fight and will make you believe. If Sami's heart is beating, he's got a chance. Whether you believe in Sami's cause or not, you can't deny his unrelenting determination. He's dedicated his life to this business. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, what a knee. And he's able to fight Dragunov off. He had it scouted. There's a special word that I can't say on here for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for team, Corey. Ilya Dragunov has such an incredible fighting spirit. Is that enough to bring him the victory? Absolutely, Cole. Dragunov leaves everything he has in the ring. And if he brings that intensity and ferociousness to bear, there aren't many superstars he can't find a way to defeat. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Heading back to the ring. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. The springboard attack fails to land. Oh, and four arm. He's absorbed some damage already. And there was that aggressive offensive style of Dragunov on full display. Oh my goodness, nasty line. Goes into the pin. Two count and a kick out at two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, and Ilya turns the tables. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. 
Sami Zayn, such a unique character, such a unique skill set. Look at him go! Sami on the verge of victory here. Big forearm. Hoist it up. All the way out. Suplex. Oh, God, that hurt. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Uh-oh. Punching their way out of that one. Uh-oh. Powerbomb. He can do it here. Kicked out. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Yeah. Man, how many knees are we going to see? Into the abdomen. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Left by the turnbuckles. That'll stop anyone. Taking this to the floor. He saw it coming, taking advantage. There's one teardrop suplex. They're going to go, I think, for a second one. No way. One, three in a row. They used every muscle to deliver those suplexes. And he goes into the ring. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. Hooked in. You're a noggy. And that holds Dragon off back. Oh, my God. a counter. And back in the ring we go. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. DDT plants them. And it looks like Dragunov is bleeding after that. Set time! Ooh, well measured. Anticipated that. Nasty boot by Zay. Has Sammy ended it there? Cover! Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. Ilya Dragunov with a tremendous kick out. And you have to think that the mad Russian has found a new reserve of adrenaline that's only going to make him stronger. Up high! We have seen these men unleash a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is quick. Sleeper holds it and just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. He gets back into the ring. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Escape just in time. Counters that. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Tornado oh, DDT. Talk about devastation. And the WWE Universe continues to remain on their feet. They know they are witnessing something special here. Ooh, it's cover. Is it enough? Oh, that 
was a hard-fought victory there, and uh, opponent's pretty hurt, I think. Certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come more. on, what's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac. The Scottish Supernova. Supernova 11, to be precise. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 100. And 78 pounds, Supernova 11, Noam Dar! Look, I'm not downplaying his skills, but Dar needs an ego check. Certainly thinks he's a cut above the rest. You two just don't get how good Noam Dar is. It's time you recognize his profound abilities. You can be talented and humble, Corey. Not in my experience. Doomsday has arrived. It was only a matter of time. Tick tock. And gentlemen, I'm afraid time has just run out for the entire WWE locker room.
That's the bell, and here we go. Noam Dar set for action, and we all know you have to be on your toes when you're in the ring with him. Dar has redefined himself as an athlete and competitor, has proven he can get it done in all sorts of ways. Vicious strikes, even more vicious technical feats. Dar is cocky, but he's really been able to back it up more and more as of late. You really can't underestimate a talent like Noam Dar. The chilling image in the other corner is Karrion Cross, who has vowed to smash his adversary through the gates and into the most painful parts of hell. Cross approaches every match with grim determination. He wraps himself around opponents like a giant constrictor and makes people suffer physically and mentally. A oh, timely counter by Cross. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got him up. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Oh, kick connects. Corey, how do you deal with a master of Sambo and catch wrestling like Karrion Cross? What you have to do is nullify Cross's extensive training by making this your kind of fight, not his. If you can force him outside of his comfort zone and get him off balance, then his skills aren't nearly as useful. Delivering nasty stops. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace, that right there is how you do it. Just cranking the head. Uh oh, we're going to see it? All tied up. Oh, look it. Oh, man. One blow, all it took. Ooh, elbow strike. Fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. To the back of the neck, Scottish Sickle. Showing now. Nobody likes you. Play impossum. Whoa. Play impossum. Shoulder shoots up before two. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Into the control of the suplex. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, and that buys some time. Out. And no dark side. Step up in Zagiri finds its mark. Cross is in serious danger. A kick out. I don't believe it. The 
sands of the hourglass are dwindling for Cross, and he was able to flip it. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you got to do a little more to finally finish this. And that DDT was well delivered. Oh. Kick to the midsection. Setting him up. Canadian destroyer. He's able to fend off the attack. Tick-tock, Doomsday has arrived. Cross-jacket submission applied. What a unique submission maneuver. Trying not to fade. Delivers a harsh elbow. Boy, oh, European uppercut. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Can't prepare your face for that. And no, I'm refusing to let up on the fight, even for a moment. From the top, through the air, and connects. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Oh, stop right to the hand. No one doll with the upper hand. Cross looks a little off balance. He isn't being allowed to make it his kind of fight. He's taking this to the floor now. And now thrown back into the ring. Vicious right forearm. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. And an overbearing amount of offense against Cross here. Cross has the look of someone surprised to be in such a position. Into the corner. This can't be good. This is it. Shoulder up, shoulder up. How? How? Dar wants to fly. He's got him in the crosshairs. Up high. Nobody home on that. Able to parry that one. Shoulders down. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. Good Lord. Scarily close to three. Oof. on punishing the leg. What's he gonna do to Cross? Ooh, dropped right on their face. Here's the setup. Oh no, we're gonna see it. Penalty kick to the arm. The Scottish Supernova looking more like a surgeon. Noah Dar is so technical, so precise. These competitors came out here poised and ready for a fight, and boy, are they delivering. Stop in the leg. Dar is having his way right now. Yeah, Dar's showing no mercy out there. Back straight into the post on the outside. And Cross evades that. will head back to the ring. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Ah, look at this. Arm breaker. Quick return to the ring. Taking it outside the ring now. For a European breaker. There it is. And now 
blood is flowing from the sinister face of Cross. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top, elbow drop. Good Lord. He's going for the pin. This could be it. What a win. And how about a little show of respect? How about that? You got to appreciate that. Even in defeat, wanting to shake the... Nuh-uh. The winner's got the no time. Kid. Hit the bricks, kid. Yeah, what a real classy guy, huh? Real classy winner. It is time for the Don to make that money. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 240 pounds, Tony D. Tony D'Angelo is not playing games. This is a man who's been through it all. He survived the turf wars and paid the price to be the Don. The tastiest snack in sports entertainment is served. Uh, I happen to think this snack is a little bit stale. Oh, don't be rude, Saxton, or jealous for that matter. And his opponent, representing pretty deadly from London, England, weighing in at 185. One half of the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Kit Wilson. Take a look at the raven-haired bruiser. Not to be taken lightly, despite his eccentricities. Wilson's looks are epic and his fits are outrageous. Take it in, if you can handle it. Well, okay, the time for posing is about over. Let's see if he can actually get it done in this match.
And Tony D'Angelo is a superstar looking to build a legacy here in WWE, looking to build an empire for himself and his family by any means necessary. You've got to admire a man with ambition like Tony D, a legitimate businessman who started small and has successfully grown his operation. That's something we should all aspire to. The sky is definitely the limit for D'Angelo, as we'll see here tonight. But in the opposite corner is the most delicious dish you'll find on any menu, Kit Wilson. Yes, boy, indeed. He'll knock you out either with his drop-dead gorgeous looks or his devastating strikes. Just take your pick. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. It, and he very quickly counters. Here's the snapmare. Ah, followed by a knee drop. And a fracture in orbital. Driving a knee into the arm. And it just hammering away with the rights. Now this is just a ruthless attack. Oh, such aggression. Every strike more devastating than the last. What a shot. There's a few words that people use to describe Kit Wilson. Vapid seems to be a common one. Yeah, Wilson always seems to be focused on his looks and fashion, but he will do whatever he has to do to earn a win in the ring. So underestimate him at your own risk. In fact, underestimating him might just be the worst mistake you could make here. Oh, boy. German suplex released. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear up. They're going to have any taste buds left after that. Toss back into the ring. Big boot. Jeez. Punch right in the head. Ooh. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Looking wobbly in the corner. And he barely evades. Looking for the power with a side rock slam. Vicious right forearm. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, driving the elbow. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Tony tied that one. And we just saw, and he goes for the pin. Almost two and a half. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Big forearm. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Short jabs to the rib cage. Those are agonizing. Single underhook suplex. Nice. Oh, that might have just broken something. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Now that'll do some serious damage. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. D'Angelo showcasing his strength. Yeah, this is smart stuff. Not making the mistake of underestimating the seemingly vapid Kit Wilson. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? And a big right hand. Looking for the... Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. He knows how to avoid contact. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Boom! Boot. Nice! Kit keeps him away. Shoulder tackle! Was coming. Arm trap. Nicely executed Northern Light Soup. 
suplex. Oh, oh neck breaker. D'Angelo sending a clear message with that one. As he always does, Saxton. Up and down into the protoplex. No doubt, D'Angelo ended this. Two. He, no way, no way. I don't know how he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. Saw that one coming. There's some power behind that punch. And Kid finding a way to inflict more damage. Yeah, Tony is getting a challenge and then some tonight. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Into the ring again. Getting him into the corner. Oh, caught that foot by surprise. Uh-oh. Shaking spine buster. Incredible. Shoulders down. This has become a monument. WWE fans on their feet showing their respect for this matchup. Great sportsmanship go. being shown here. Oh, come on. Just shake the superstar's uh, hand. Obviously, emotions are still running high, Saxton. You don't know how bad it feels to come up short in a situation like this. Gallus is here, and they are ready for a fight. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 486 pounds. Mark Coffee and Joe Coffee Gallus. Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there, too. Gentlemen, I have a four word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top. The lethal Lothario, Umberto. A high flying heartbreaker. And their opponents first representing Los Lotharios from Monterey, Mexico. Weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto 
You know, guys, Humberto comes from Lucha Libre royalty. Plenty of talent in his family. And Humberto's skills are second to none. Trust me, he will take that family to even greater heights. Now here's a man, The Miz, who is one of the most accomplished stars in the history of WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, the NXT North American Champion. such a, a WWE and Hollywood success. But the thing about Miz is he always wants more. Yeah, and the Miz will stoop to any level to get more. It works, doesn't it? Miz can do it all. Movies, reality TV, even game shows. Yeah, the only thing he can't do is actually shut up. Maybe you should teach him how, Saxton. Why would you silence an A-lister? Byron's never been on any list. There's the bell, and Gallus looks ready to unleash their brand of bold and daring offense. Yeah, and at times, they are downright brass, Michael. There are no pleasantries about the way they attack their opponents, no matter who the unfortunate team is to meet them in the ring. I wouldn't want to meet them in the pub either, Byron. There's a lot of heat between these teams. I expect some personal shots to be taken in this one. I think the personal shots began before the match even started, and now it's a matter of what team can keep a cooler head towards victory. Ah! Uh, backbreaker! And he goes for the pin. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pin. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, he retaliates. This press! This press! This press! Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. DDT! Umberto gets the better there. And full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Springboard off the top rope and misses on the springboard. on his opponent now. is 
really fired up. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm has the arm trapped. And a series of vicious stomps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. That's a forearm that'll floor you. Playbook scouted. Three. Got him set up in the corner of the Three. ring. Double big back body drop. And the Miz might want to look for some of his shortcut tactics after falling to that attack. Able to give him the slip. for Mark to get back into this match. Oh. The man's dealing with the effects after that move. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Chop block. Great precision by the Miz. Fighting back against Miz. Uh-oh. Setting up in the corner. Here he goes for the win! And he closes it out. No, the Miz is still alive. What do you have to do to put this guy away? He made the tag. 
cooking with gas now. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Right across the larynx. These men are looking battered and bruised. You have to believe the shoulders down. Ah, celebration underway. Great win tonight. Really needed that one as well. Well, it was a great. But, well, we got another superstar. So, uh, I guess adding to the celebration. Appreciation? I sense a hint of sarcasm in the celebration. Yeah, you're probably right. Here comes an all-American blue chip talent in Julius Creed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius. Championships and accolades as a collegiate wrestler and has continued that success in WWE. You're right, Corey. Julius Creed won the Dusty Rhodes Classic and the NXT Tag Titles alongside his brother. If you're looking for some good old-fashioned wrestling, then Julius Creed is about to give you some. And his partner, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed. A collegiate All-American wrestler and a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner. Not a single wasted movement from this guy, an absolute technician in the ring. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do in the ring. An extremely bright future for Brutus Creed. The walking tree trunk is here. And representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis! Well, some would say Otis used to be an inspiration. Now he could not be less interested in the WWE Universe. He may not be interested, but Otis is inspired. Inspired to annihilate you, to end you with one move. That's the kind of power possessed by this man. Man, Otis is an amazing mass of humanity. He could probably crush any man in that ring. Well, this man looks to massacre who's ever in front of him. Here comes Master Gable. Oh. Representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 202 pounds. Chad Gable. 
a true master inside the ring and would do hey. anything hey. to reach Byron. the pinnacle. Byron. Yes. Shoosh! Stop. Why stop doing that, Corey? Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never a thank you. Thank you. We got the bell, and you know we got action with Julius and Brutus, the Creed brothers. Mind-blowing power, superior mat technique, and unbelievable athleticism puts the Creeds on a different level as far as tag teams. Julius and Brutus will mow through each team one by one if that's what it takes to prove they're the best tag team in WWE. And if I may politely shoosh you, we are in the presence of true excellence with the Alpha Academy. These guys put more work in behind the scenes than any other team I know. And unlike the group that has found success in the ring and apparently in academia, their pearls of wisdom are effective sometimes, but far from perfect. Otis with the reversal. Put it in the corner now. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has oh. got to hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Tag is good. Scoop slam. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Double big back body drop. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Tag made. What do they have in mind here? Oh, big splash. Big clothesline. In stereo. Pulled back into the hip toss. And by the looks of that maneuver, the so-called size advantage might have just disappeared. There's a tag. There's a tag. What's gonna happen here? We're about to find out. Double shoulder tackle. It's gotta be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you wanna rework the game plan about now. with an elbow. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Double hip toss. These two do it so well together. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Oh, stomping away. 
Uh oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's gonna hurt. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. That's how you wear down your opponent. Shoulders down. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh man, he is fired up now. He avoids the damage. A series of hammer fists raining down. Tag made. What do they have in mind here? Oh, big splash. Big clothesline. In stereo. Look at that. he's taken, and yet he's still in this match? And Julius gets met with a response. Ah, oh, look at this. Headbutt! Chad Gable with the tag. Into the corner now. Uh-oh. Face first. Picking them up. Marching across the ring and into the corner. And they're not finished yet. Spine first again. And perhaps a reevaluation of the lesson plan is in order for the Alpha Academy after that. From the first row. Oh, 
What a punch! Setting up for something here. Oh, look at this. Lights out. Face first. Takes their opponent down. Now just teeing off a series of hammer fists raining down. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Catches Otis there. Otis avoids that one. Placed into the corner. Double shoulder block. Ah, look at this. So much damage inflicted. Oh, man, he is more than... Are we about to see it? A powerful takedown. Will Gable make it pay off? Makes the cover! He keeps his team in the match. Some more tandem offense and my now opponent hosted on the shoulders. Doomsday cannonball. Does that finish Otis off? Cover. Oh, I thought it was over, but again. Can we please get some control? So much punishment has been absorbed by these men already. And yet they are still going. Still ready for more. Boot to the mush. Effective way to counter any attack. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. in the corner by Otis and I think we're gonna see it. My goosebumps have goosebumps right now. Here it comes the Caterpillar! Into the cover! Oh. He stops the count for his partner. And sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Knocked down with a snap air. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. 
Continuing to work on the arm with a... We're undoubtedly nearing the end. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Fisherman Buster! And Gable now chaining some offense together. Julius might be in a panic. From the top! Elbow drop! Tossed into the corner. Tagged in. Reverse. Nice Ooh. reverse fireman's drop. Look at this. Going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. And like a pie, a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Ooh, man, what a hit. Victory. Here are your winners, Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable leads the team to victory. I don't think the Creeds are going to take this one lying down. They'll be back and better. The Apex Predator is on the hunt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The Viper! Randy Orton is basically a five-star general of psychological warfare. Learned his killer instinct in evolution and has now evolved into the apex predator. Randy's entire body is a weapon. He's forged it through two decades of war. Yeah, Randy Orton is no ordinary man, and, and there's nothing he won't do to take you down. His opponent must understand the presence and the danger in front of him. Randy Orton is as lethal as they come. And that's what makes Orton so intimidating. Every opponent knows what the Viper is capable of and it's scary. It's got to be hard for any competitor to stay composed, knowing that they could be Orton's next victim. I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, 
weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. Somehow, some way, this superstar needs to figure out how to keep the Viper out of his own psyche. I'm not sure that's possible. You might be right on that account, Saxton. The bell rings and we're underway. The Viper, Randy Orton, clearly coiled and ready to strike here tonight. Yeah, Cole, you can see the gears turning already. Orton's is calculating a competitor as they come. He clearly has a plan set for this one, and if I know one thing, it's that he'll be executing it with complete precision. Well, we'll see if Orton's plan comes to fruition. And he's face-to-face -face with one of the top superstars to come out of the UK, Tyler Bate. Bate appreciates and respects the historic British superstars who came before him, but he's doing things his way. That's what a true student of the mat does. They build upon the foundation that was laid before them. Ouch. Pulled in from belly to belly. Cover. And he breaks the count quickly. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Larian. Randy Orton, such an intelligent competitor. For as much as he's seen and done in this business, it really makes game planning against him difficult. Yeah, and to your point, Cole, Orton likes to capitalize on his opponent's missteps, so you can't play into his hand. He waits for you to make mistakes, so, you know, don't. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. And Orton gets countered there. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on, gotta get back in the ring. Able to reverse that one. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Billy, oh, what a great escape. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Tyler Bate heads up high. Arm ringer in control. Ooh, and a shot to the body and another. Elbow on the spot. He's getting put down with the defensive. That is the sort of bloodthirsty offense that Randy Orton does so well. Bottom uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. And just that quick, the Viper can turn the tides of this matchup. Powerful. Oh, oh, oh. Shoulders down. He gets the kick out after the one. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. Measured knee drop. Tyler <laughs> Bate looking to lock it in. Billy Go. Agonizing hole. Got to find a way out, and they do. Tag with a punch. Slugging it out, toe to toe now. Oh. Feels like a hockey.
hockey fight's just broken out. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Boom. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Uh-oh. Face first. Counter for Morton. Might take it here. Two. He's still in this fight. Wow, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. This superstar looking to fight their way back into the matchup. Beautiful pair of drop kicks. Avoids contact and a beautiful crossbody. Counters the Vipers attack. was not enough. Look at this, Byron. Here comes a suplex. Oh, slingshot. Evading offense. Oh, that right there will rock you. Sharp blow to the neck. Punishing their opponent now. Got the full Nelson. Slam! Hoisted up. Whipped over in a snap suplex. He's got him scouted. Arm ringer applied. Oh my goodness, that might have snapped the finger. And Tyler refusing to let up on the fight, even for a moment. Yeah, Randy's odds are in some serious jeopardy. Vulnerable spot for the Viper. Oh, and joints going in all the wrong directions. Picture perfect drop kick. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. to Tyler Bate. I guess the big strong boy just didn't have it in him tonight. He either wasn't big enough or strong enough or both.
WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried. Dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars, none of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. One of the hardest hitting high flyers around. Ready for takeoff. And his opponents first, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Escobar is supremely skilled taking his cues from Mexico's greatest lucha legends. Yeah, he's even battled those same legends and came out on top. The battle-tested leader of the LWO, Santos Escobar, knows he has what it takes. When Escobar joined WWE, he arrived here under a mask. But he quickly put the past behind him. He evolved. He became the superstar we know today. That change seems like a very good one for Santos. Jey Uso is here and he is a new man. And from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay Uso! You know, you gotta think Jay's in a precarious position, not having the safety net of his brother or his cousin. But ever since he's broken away, he's earned main events, and there's even won more titles. He has truly become the main event. Man, I can't wait to see Jey Uso Yeet some fools. No yeet. We don't do that, Saxton. Especially I do. you. No. Yeet. Yeet.
Awareness is the key for a triple threat where one mistake can cost you the match. In tonight's bout, we begin with Roman Reigns, Santos Escobar, and Jey Uso. It's all about outsmarting and outlasting two opponents to claim victory here. So you got to make sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself. There he goes, right into the corner. And face first with a waistlock takedown. Shot to the chest. must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Triple threats are so mentally and physically draining. How do you keep the pressure from getting to you, Corey? In a triple threat, you have to play offense and defense at the same time. If you want to make it through, you got to have real mental toughness and just trust your instincts. There's no time to think, only time to act. But this could also light a fire under you, make you fight even harder. Stomach. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Can he do it here? He stops the count. Kick to the gut. Oh, what a right! Worried look on the face of Escobar. And Roman might just have more in store. Oh, my God! That was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. Oh, what a close line. He is just reeling from that offense. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. He was elusive there. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person and make a statement. A little rope assistance attacking the arm. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Jay puts a stop to that. Oh, man! Just caught flush. What's coming next? A back suplex. Shoulders down. This could be it. Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. That could finish off Roman. He stays alive, he stays alive. The Tribal Chief digging down deep and fighting through it. You might not respect his methods, but you have to respect his determination. And it may just take going to the well one more time of that maneuver to gain the pinfall. Oh, great display of strength with the suplex. Reigns gets out of hard work. He went right into that turnbuckle. Right off the top ropes. And he has an answer for Jay. Reigns laying down the gauntlet for his opponent. Hurricanrana. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. The end is looming now. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Jay Uso fears no man. 
Kick to the midsection. Uh-oh. Avoiding contact. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Makes him pay with a counter. Reigns turns that around. He saw that one coming. Right forearm. Reigns able to sidestep. And, and this has got to be it. Got it. No, just a two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. And set right into the corner. Uh-oh. A rolling thunder. And a cross splash. These men have been all gas and no brakes tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running on fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. The confidence of Escobar, clearly through the... Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. Jay is down and out. Hangs on by a thread. What a crucial kick out. And the blood is still pumping for Jey Uso. The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? Boom! Kick to the face for your troubles. Oh, not today. Caught by surprise with the DDT. Reigns in the corner. Ready to strike. Ooh. Answer that with a stiff knee. Spear! Will Jay take advantage? That's gotta be it. I think Jay's face took the brunt of that shot. What a raucous crowd here tonight. This is ugly. He got whipped into that corner. Series of reversals. A little cockiness here from Jay. Oh, was that really called for? And did you hear the impact of that? Jumping clothesline! What agility! Alley-oop! Here he goes! For the win! He kicks out at two. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. Oh, he fights Jay back. Vicious right forearm. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer under. And the cover for the win. This is it. And he breaks up the count. Setting up. Nice. nice suplex. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. some serious danger here. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Headbutt. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh! Saw that one coming. Vicious right forearm. A little style from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Ball and forearm smash. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Ah, that one 
scouted. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. What a match this has been. What a fight. We are all glad to be witnessing such an extreme. Wayne sizing up the target. No coming back from Reigns after that. Oh, what a boot. And he's taking this to the outside now. We've seen the sledgehammer many times before, and it has never been a pretty sight. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. It's the and he breaks the hold. There it is, the people's punch. by the back of the elbow. Oh, spear! Jay nailed all of it. Cover! Two! Oh, and he just kicked out. A kick out, and Reigns is still in this. The big dog still has some fight left. And Jay threw everything he had at his opponent. You gotta wonder what else he's gotta do to put him away. He reverses it. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Oh boy, come on, not the chair. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. He skirts around it. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. And Reigns reverses. Oh my gosh, what impact. Sent into the corner. Santos envision tonight going. Cover here! And he stops the count. Lucky in. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, set flyer. Legs caught. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. And Escobar didn't see that coming. Tremendous victory in this triple threat match. I applaud all three of these superstars for pulling off a match like this. The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks as ready as ever for action tonight.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American He just has to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. He's back. CM Punk made his return with a flood of emotions, but he knows he now has unfinished business and a story of his own to complete. After nearly a decade away from WWE, Punk can still compete at a high level, and he'll need that with today's competitors. A polarizing figure, but Punk is determined to be the best. tell you, it still feels so surreal to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. Never say never in WWE. And CM Punk is ready to prove himself all over again. Here we go with one of the most controversial and polarizing figures in the history of the WWE, CM Punk. You don't reach the level of success he's reached without ruffling feathers. Sure, he might be out of step with the world at times, but that doesn't make him any less of a threat. Punk is as lethal as ever in the ring and on the mic. We're definitely going to see what Punk has added to his arsenal since stepping away. And let's not forget about the grandson of a plumber and son of a Hall of Famer, Cody Rhodes. Oh, yeah. Cody has got something to prove since returning to WWE. And tonight should be no different. And Punk gets countered there. Sent into the corner. Close line in the corner. Cody Rhodes. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. Hits him with the counter. Oh, he's got him by the leg. The foot DDT. Oh, impressive counter. Rose gets out of dodge. Oh, what a right. And haymaker after haymaker. Oh. Slugging away with everything they've got. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Here we go. Oh, an exploder suplex. Major moment here tonight for Cody Rhodes. How do you think he should approach this contest? 
Cody Rhodes always meets the moment. He has never shirked from a challenge and should not do so now. Make this moment his. Own it, and he will meet it again. Cody Rhodes, disaster kick. He thinks he has it. And he powers out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Uh-oh. Oh, CM Punk stopped that in its tracks. The better part of Valor. Power slam. Ooh. Ah, crush a hamstring. Just going all out with every blow. The roundhouse connects. And Cody didn't see that coming. CM Punk is firmly in the driver's seat. Driven down. Jarring impact. He's headed up top. Thinking big. Incoming. Oh, from the top. He's on his heels a bit now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Punk is shaky. The end of the track for him could be... Cody. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. Two. There it is. Cody Rhodes gets it. Here is your... Time victory for Cody Rhodes. Few people hate losing as much as CM Punk does. Yeah, you can see the frustration on his face. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey, the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Nathan Fraser in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. 
And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard-hitting truths. I like this guy. is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. Folks, you are in for a treat. Nathan Frazier is ready for takeoff, so be sure not to blink. Moving at the speed of light, Frazier's athleticism is off the charts. And once he builds up that speed, oh boy, good luck keeping up. Very true, Byron. But some say that even more impressive is his relentlessness. Frazier will never back down, never give up, never stop. And we'll see if he's ready for the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Uh, whatever Seth wants to be called these days, Corey, one thing does not change. Rollins has always been a dangerous opponent. At Seth's core, he is still as dangerous as ever, possibly even more so. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Oof, kick finds it. Looking for a fisherman suplex, able to counter. Oh, countered into a clothesline. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Dodges. Seth Rollins. Shoulders down. This could be it. And he easily stops the ref's count. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Play and possum. Shoulders down. The shoulder up after one. This isn't even close to over. Just like that, Rollins dodges. Capped off with a big one. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oof! Bang. His shoulders are down. And he kicks out at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Oh man. Had that telegraph, but can it be capitalized on? Vicious right forearm. Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, what a shot. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Nathan retaliates. And Frazier needed that badly. Time now for Nathan. This superstar was down and out. Whoa! Perhaps not. Yeah, you and me both. Look out! Boom! Full head of steam. Turning this match completely around. Oh, set down. Here we go. Uh-oh! Turning fire. Yeah. 
Chuck through the ropes, hanging on for dear life on the apron. Oh, my Lord! Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Swinging neck breaker connects. He's starting to struggle here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh, set down. Here we go. Uh-oh. And Frazier with momentum on his side. Yeah, Frazier's proving hard to keep up with. their opponent. That arm's going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Down into the gut buster. What an incredible moonsault. Into the pin attempt. There's two. Pushes through after two. The end was in sight. Ooh. Ooh. He can't take much more of this. Yeah, this match has not been tied to him. I am on the counter. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Just a blitz of offense on Frazier here. It's not plain or simple, but we're seeing the length Seth is willing to go in order to win. Close fist connects. Wow, Gallon of Stelly. Setting him up for something here. And Rollins capitalizes. right back. And I ask, the way these combatants have been unloading on one another, how are they still going? Frazier on top with the full splash. Nice. Fearless display from Frazier. Oh, yeah, this kid's got the it factor. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Frazier may be thinking high risk. If this lands, it's over. Good Lord, Phoenix Splash. One of the most impressive moves I've ever seen. He kicks out somehow. Seth freaking Rollins with a close freaking call. I don't know how he survived that. That was the home run shot that got robbed at the fence. You got a question, how much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously, he could pin his opponent right here. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins once again standing victorious. Not every high risk leads to a high reward, and Nathan Frazier is living proof with this loss.